them too. Oh, I forgot the babies. Hi, Hi Everett. <laughs> Our story because Elmer is all about being different and that's being okay. So this is what Elmer actually looks like. So he's kind of a different elephant, isn't he? So everybody sitting down? Got your yeah. listening ears on? Okay, here we go. There was once a herd of elephants. Elephants young and old and this tall and short awesome. and fat and thin and all were different. But they were all very happy. They do do that, don't they? Remember we got our listing unit? Remember we locked it and zipped it? Sammy! Sammy! All except Elmer. Elmer was not elephant color. He was patchwork. Yeah, I, I'm going to do that in a second. Thank you for reminding me. Elmer was yellow and orange and red and pink and purple and blue and green and black and white. He was a patchwork elephant. He was patchwork. It was Elmer who kept the other elephants happy. Their games and jokes were always his idea. If an elephant was laughing, the cause was usually because of Elmer. But Elmer himself wasn't happy. Who ever heard of a patchwork elephant? No wonder they laugh at me. One morning, just as the others were waking up, Elmer slipped away. And he walked into the jungle, and guess what all the other, ele all the other animals said to him? Good morning, Elmer. Good morning, Elmer. But Elmer was off to find a way that he didn't have to be patchwork anymore. So he came upon a bush, and he took the berries, and he rubbed the berries all over him until he wasn't patchwork anymore. Sammy, can you come and sit, please? And Lorelai, thank you. Can you come and sit, too? Everybody ready? Ready for the story to go on? Okay. On his way back to the jungle, Elmer cast those same animals that he saw before. And guess what they said this time? Good morning, elephant. What? They didn't know he was Elmer anymore. They just said, good morning, elephant. Because look at Elmer was the same as all the other elephants. They couldn't tell it was Elmer anymore. But as Elmer stood there with the other elements, he knew something was wrong. Yeah. He wondered what was wrong. It was the same old jungle and the same old elephants that he knew, but something wasn't right. They were standing so serious, they weren't laughing or having fun or playing games or doing anything. And Elmer had never seen them so serious before. He lifted his trunk. Are you ready to make the elephant noise with me? He lifted his trunk and he went... Ready? I know you know how to do it. Okay, here we go.
but he's a special one. So every day of the year, the other elephants dress up special for Elmer, and Elmer's the elephant that has the gray skin. So that's Elmer. Is that fun? And Elmer's written by David McKee, which is one of my favorite, favorite authors. So now there's another way to tell Elmer, and it's by doing it with a little storyboard. So see, we're going to make this a little shorter, but these are all the elephants in the herd, right? And did, El did, did Elmer feel good or bad about being patchwork? He felt good? At the beginning of the story, do you think he felt good? No, he kind of wanted to be just like them, didn't he? So he wanted to be just like them, so he went and found out a way to be just like everybody else. But guess what? That really wasn't who he was. And so, at the end of the story, all the other elephants, they want to be like him, and so they, they paint themselves up every year to be just like Elmer. In honor of him, do you know what honoring somebody is? That means when they're special, you want to say something nice and do something nice to them. And so they become elephants just like that. Yep, I'm going to get the other ones. Yeah, they all have them. That's my favorite. That's Lorelai's favorite. And there, all the elephants are just as different as Elmer. Did you like that story? Let's clap for that story again.